Hi everyone, I hope you're doing great. Today I'm gonna tell you how to make a driver for LED strips and be able to adjust the lights of the LEDs through the internet. I use analog RGB LED strips. So I have three channels to control lights intensity and one channel should be connected to 12 volts voltage. So there are four wires in LED strips to use. To make a driver that connects to the internet, I have used a module of NodeMCU. I arbitrarily connected three of the NodeMCU pins to three resistors and connected the resistors to high power transistors. And finally, the LED strips are connected to the transistor in this way. A 5 volt regulator is used to electricity supply the circuit. Now the circuit is ready. We connect the circuit to the LED strips and turn it on. In addition, I use a temperature and humidity sensor to show you the capabilities of this website. The name of this website is Tinker.io and you can connect your IoT projects to this website and monitor your sensors and controls without geographical restrictions. First, you need to create an account. In the sign up section, you will be able to create an account by completing a form. After that, you will go to your panel from the login section and enter your username and password and click on the login button. After logging in, you can see projects you've created from the devices section. To add a new device, you can do this from the Add section, but I need to upgrade my account to do this. So far, I've created two devices, one of which is connected. After adding the device, you must go to the dashboard section and create a dashboard and connect it to your device. After clicking on the desired dashboard, you can create your own control panel. This website provides you with good displays and graphical controls. I put a switch to test the correct working of the device. I used two donut charts to show temperature and humidity and two charts to show temperature and humidity in previous times. Now we use these red, green and blue sliders to control the light's intensity of LEDs. And if I change these sliders, you can see the effect in the video. As I said, this website gives you an interactive dashboard. Now, if I open the dashboard editing section, I can change the color of these two charts. or change the shape of this display. I can even put a clock or LED instead.
Oh, I think there is a problem. Be sure to use high power regulators. I used a low power regulator which got hot and affect the temperature display. So I have to change it and use a bug converter. Okay, thanks for watching the video. The project codes are in the description and if you have any question, ask me in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye bye.